This is a five minute how to video on how to book a Pfizer vaccine appointment at New York State sites like Javits and Aqueduct. So to start, I'm on the New York State vaccine site, the link for which you can see on your screen right there. And I'm going to start this process at 27 or 57 minutes past the hour, any hour, because there's something I have to do at exactly zero or 30 minutes past the hour to give myself the best chance of getting an appointment. So to start with, I'm just filling in my information as normal, and it should look pretty normal so far for you. And once I hit that I consent checkbox, I can submit and locate providers, and I will have Javits Pfizer at the top of my screen. If it's not on the top of your screen, that's okay. It might say no appointments available, that's okay, but you're gonna find Javits Pfizer, even if it's on the second or third page, and click that schedule your vaccine appointment button. We come to this page with a CAPTCHA, that's that checkbox. And right here, we're gonna wait until exactly zero or 30 minutes past the hour. And that'll help make sure that there'll be appointments on the page once we finish the CAPTCHA because the appointments are released at, in my case, exactly 2.30 p.m. So when the clock hits 2.30, I finish this CAPTCHA as quickly as I can. So here I'm just checking all the traffic lights and hitting verify. And then, okay, I'm going to try to reserve an appointment quickly and Right now, at this step, it'll most likely be taken and I won't succeed. But still, I'm going to click the top appointment in the list. I'm going to click I agree. And then you see, unfortunately, it's already been taken. But that's OK. I'm going to click the back button here. And that's the back button on the website page in this case. And if another date appears in the list, I'm going to go ahead and try that. And you see that from me here, more appointments do appear. So I'm going to try this April 11th appointment. It's okay if appointments don't appear. You see, I fail anyway. So I'm going to go right back with that back button to the same page. And right now, I'm seeing no appointments that I want. You might see no appointments at all. I'm right now, for example, going for an April-only appointment. So you don't want to refresh the page right now. That will send you back to the beginning. But there's a special way to refresh this appointment list without losing all your progress. That's going to be you press your browser's back button and then the back button on the website. And you can repeat that as many times as you want. So first thing from this appointment list, you see that I'm pressing the back arrow in my browser. It might be the back button on your phone if you have an Android phone or swiping from the left side of the screen on an iPhone or some Android phones. Or you could use a special button on your mouse if you have a back button on your mouse. And you see that I'm going to do that again. Browser back button, then website back button. Browser back button, website back button. And oh, an appointment right here that I want. So I'm going to try to get this April 28th appointment. I'm going to click it just like before. Click that I agree button. And this time I see that there's a 3 p.m. slot. So I'm going to click that time and as quickly as I can hit that schedule button. I'm in a bit slow-mo right here, so it, it seems like it's taking longer than I actually took. But unfortunately, that appointment was booked by someone else. I was too slow. So since I got to select a time this time, it's a little bit different how I'm going to get back to the appointment list so I can try again, again, without losing my progress. So I'm going to press Select New Date, and then I'm actually going to have to click the Browser Back button twice. So you'll see what happens here. I'm clicking Select New Date since I'm ready to try any date in April. And then I'm gonna click the browser back arrow and you see that I come back to the same page. So I'm clicking the browser back arrow again. And now since we have that magic website back button, I click that button labeled back again. And I'm gonna go back to the same procedure on the list of dates. So I'm gonna click browser back button, web page back button, browser back button, web page back button. And oh, April 20th appeared. I super quickly hit that date and then hit I agree, but I was too slow. So I'm going to go ahead and just like before, click that back button, then browser back arrow, website back button. And oh, April 30th sounds good. So I click the date. I click I agree. I choose the time and I click schedule. And oh, my goodness, would you look at that? I just secured an appointment. So I like I am needless to say, taking a deep breath right now. Very excited. So this might take you a lot of tries. I've practiced a couple times, but I think with the combination of the tips I've shared, you're going to be able to get this done. So right now, before I continue, since I have 20 minutes, I'm checking my calendar to make sure that I'll be available on the listed time of the appointment, and then also exactly 21 days later at the same time of day for my second dose, in this case Pfizer. And then all you have to do is follow the prompts like I'm doing and you'll be set.